Today it's a big day, it's a long waiting car for me at least, the brand new BMW iX2 full electric right here today. Full review, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality, multimedia, everything about the car you will find out in this video. So stay with me until the end because it will be really interesting. I know there are some trend these days, all those SUV crossover, sporty car. And I have to tell you, I'm super, super impressed with what BMW did with this X2 and iX2. I drive the car before and I was insanely, insanely surprised on how good this car is set up. Suspension wise, sportiness, steering feeling, everything on this car it's at top level. So I want to give you some technical data and then we will start the review exterior interior and in a separate video if you want to see the test drive video check it out on the channel probably the video is already there if it's not already there will come soon so stay close because we'll be a really really interesting one now first of all if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out Auto Fekir in Bern you can go there and speak with them they are super super nice people and not only that they are nice people but surprisingly always when I go to Auto Fekir to review a car they have a discount and of course you have a discount on this brand new BMW iX2. Surprisingly, I didn't expect to get a discount, so good discount, so fast. But check this out. Usually the price of this car that I present you today, it's 86,880 francs, but you have 11,080 francs discount. So that means the final price will be 75,800 francs with all the options from here included. So it, it's almost a full option car. That's a good thing because I can show you almost all the options and then you can choose which one you can configure it for your own car. The version that I have with me is iX2 X Drive 30. That means it's all wheel drive. It comes with two electric motors. I will give you more details in a second. It will come also on the market a 20 version, but at a later date. So stay tuned for that as well. What kind of options we have on this version? extra we have 20 inch m wheels 820 francs it comes also with hook in the back i will show you later 1270 francs it comes with panoramic glass roof driving assistant professional 2510 i really recommend you to get this this is insanely nice it comes also with m sport package 5000 and m sport pack pro that's insane and i will show you how it looks later 10 years or 10 years uh, bmw service plus or 100,000 kilometer you have it right here the weight of the car by the way 2210 kilograms 18 kilowatt hour the estimated consumption and zero co2 emission the power of the car 313 horsepower 494 newton meters top speed of the car 180 km per hour 0 to 105.6 seconds also it comes connected with one speed automatic transmission 449 km is the VLTP estimated range all wheel drive that means it comes with two electric motors one electric motor drive the front wheel of the car and one electric motor drive the rear wheel of the car when it comes to space we have 525 liter in the trunk and if you fold down the seats completely it will go up to 1400 liters battery capacity 66.5 kilowatt hour but usable 64.7 kilowatt hour it's a 286 volt lithium battery located under the floor both electric motors have similar power 190 horsepower the car it's able to pull a trailer up to 1200 kilogram with brake without brakes 750 kilograms ground clearance 16.7 centimeters the drag coefficiency for an suv is great 0.25 and the turning circle 11.9 meter i also drive the car and turning circle it's quite good it comes with independent multi-link suspension on the rear and spring strut independent suspension on the front ventilated brake disc on the rear ventilated brake disc on the front and 20 inch rims optional as you saw before now guys those are the most important technical data if i miss something ask me down below i will give you the information now let's start the review exterior interior and then in the end 
we will take the conclusion. So yeah, let's do it, guys. This is the key, super nice key. I love it. BMW use it also on other version. Plus you have the M colors right here. You have the button to lock the car. And when you unlock it, it has a very nice playing light. Every time you unlock it or lock the car in the nighttime, you can see those lights, how they dim down and they have a nice uh, playing the same story it is also on the rear i will go in the, on the rear because i like much more the rear lights they have a wonderful wonderful design and check this out you see them the way they, they turn on and press the button you have to wait a few seconds and then they will dim down in a nice way and then when you turn on the car again you can see the lights how they uh, turn on in a nice nice uh, slow way uh, what you can do with the key basically you can lock the car once you lock it it comes of course with electric folding mirrors but you have to set it up from the multimedia and it comes also with keyless entries that mean you put the hand here you lock it and then you unlock it when you come to the car plus it comes with electric lift gate on the trunk all you have to do is just press this button and then the car will open the trunk for you we will go to the trunk but a little bit later if you want to close the trunk the same story press the button and then the trunk will be closed first of all i have to tell you that i'm definitely a big fan of what bmw do with the cars in terms of design i was a big fan from years from where when i was small always i was thought that bmw make one of the most beautiful designs when it comes to exterior designs and no doubt it comes with an amazing design also this ix2 i really love almost everything about the car i don't think i can say i don't like something about the car i don't know if it's one element that i can say oh yeah i don't like this I definitely love the look of the car. The front end, it's quite big, like BMW uses with, you know, like almost all BMW have this area here in the front, quite big to leave the engine space. Of course, this car doesn't have an engine, but it's built on the same platform that they use it with an engine. And that's why it's an electric and they have, uh, they have left this big space in the front. But that allow them to have that BMW signature is not a proper only electric platform is not built only for electric but that's nice because you have the both worlds BMW play at two heads I can say they also go for the electric but within the same platform and shape and size they go with the IC and electric and that I think it's a great great choice definitely it's risky because they risk to make the cars not so performant and not so good at driving but surprisingly i drive the car before and i was crazy surprised on how good it's on the road and how great has managed to balance the brakes the suspension the acceleration and the driving feeling so i think they managed to nail it really really well so they play at two head in a good way bmw so that's my opinion i love the car i'm really curious to to hear from you what do you think about uh, the design of the car also those 20 inch rims i think they fit just uh, lovely on the car they are perfect perfect for the size of the car and definitely this bmw ix2 it's a great competitor even for tesla model y even though tesla model y have a little bit more space in the trunk and also for the passengers in the back but overall when it comes to design definitely quality design wise and also mechanical brakes suspensions let's say insulation and all that stuff this bmw i2 it's over tesla model y i'm not sure about the motors the reliability and about the battery but when it comes to driving feeling and material quality and the look of the car i think bmw ix2 look better on the roof it comes with a glass roof panoramic glass roof that it's optional you can get it optional you saw before i think it was around 1500 then you have this radio antenna in a nice nice uh, way really unique that bmw use it then it comes a sliding roof uh, pretty pretty nice here it's kind of a coupe look uh, and i like that very much tilted 
tinted windows on the rear, tinted windows on the side, and also it comes this spoiler here that looks just gorgeous. I really love the way they design it. It's really aggressive and it looks just fabulous. And something that I didn't see before is the fact that they put the reverse camera right up here and also it has a spring girl so it can, you can wash it from the interior of the car and that's cool and it looks really nice the spoiler in the back look lovely another interesting thing is the bmw with blue around it so it signified electricity and you can open up the trunk from here so from here you open the trunk and not from down here then you have here the lights that are designed in a very very unique way three-dimensional way and the turning signal look great everything look really cool and also you can see it in the nighttime from the side but also from the back of the car look incredible nice you can see also the fog lamp it's on right now right here and the reverse light it's on the other side and also it's led light everything it's led and look at this man the back looks so aggressive so sporty and nice led lights on the number plate and what it's really interesting on the number plate the lights are really interesting design there so you cannot see them actually they are hided under this lip here i don't know if i can, can show you but it's really interesting you have a lip here and then under this lip it's hided the lights there and they they fall down quite nice in the nighttime ix2 on the left side so you know what car it is and which version it is and if you go down again the bumper it's so aggressive so guys this is the perfect perfect example that you can make beautiful bumpers beautiful cars without showing those exhaust pipes it's really beautiful what do you think about it I think it's it's just gorgeous the way they do it some light reflectors some piano black and down here those air diffuser on the down part really really nice really aggressive it gives you that uh, feeling of sporty and powerful car six parking sensors on the rear by the way not only for parking but also for other safety features in the front again the same story the same powerful look if we look from this angle that cut front of the car it's really interesting that hit the air but also give you that powerful feeling and i love that the grill it's also very interesting and very unique i mean i never saw before on other cars something like that it's really interesting this middle part the way they design it it's they cut it in the middle here so it's kind of a grill in a grill so this area down here it's kind of that kidney grill somehow in a different way and you have the air intakes you have the pedals that are closed right now you can see the pedals close and they open when the battery need to cool down and a little bit higher you have uh, the proper kidney grill that are closed piano black with those triangles in gray look also lovely here is the radar in this area behind the radar are all the safety features for emergency brake lane assist adaptive cruise control and all that safety features a little bit higher you have the front camera and also on the hood here you have those lines super aggressive look at the front love it you can see the lights as well full led light in the front matrix led light Pulping light, the same, same light as BMW uses with on the latest these models. Quite nice, look like a crystal. Then you have there, you see that bluish insertion, that means laser matrix LED light. Lovely light. And also in the nighttime, I hope I can get the car for a night test drive to show you the lights. That would be super fun and nice. Now here you have some glossy piano black air intakes, six parking sensors again. This is a real air intake. The air will go around here uh, to help the aerodynamic of the car when it hits the air while you're on the highway. Down here, 20 inch rims, M rims, beautiful and interesting. And the design is quite unique. I didn't see it also on other BMW until now. Quite nice rims. We have the red brake caliper with M logo on them, uh, four pistons, ventilated brake discs. And on the rear, it comes also with ventilated brake discs, but much more smaller. And you have also the red brake calipers. Super nice. Down here, something that I like a lot about the car is the fact that it comes with this down skirt a little bit extended like a lip 
and that also signify a little bit of sportiness it makes the car look much more interesting you can see it also from up here and also from the distance it looks uh, really interesting uh, now this is the charging port you can charge the car in ac 11 kilowatt or in dc at maximum 128 kilowatt hour if i remember well and another element that i like about the car is that around the edges of the windows you have the piano black this is the new trend i really like the way it looks in combination with tinted windows also those pillars b pillar it's also in black piano and that it's a nice blend together with the mirror here, mirror leg, LED lights on the mirrors, also these free lines. I love these free lines on the mirrors. It looks so nice. Then you have the camera for 360 degrees camera, piano black down here. If you look at the mirror, you have the blind spot technology in the corner, pretty big mirrors. And also I like the fact that you have piano black inside the mirrors that looks gorgeous. And also up on the windshield, you have all those cameras and sensors for raining and light and camera that read the traffic speed limit and also the traffic signs that's insane check out the test drive because there you can see a little bit more infos about all that safety features and what it can do and also it's defrostable in the winter so uh, it's cool m on the both sides because it has the m package i like the fact that in the same time they have this plastic protection around the wheels and also it goes up to here so that means if you hit it here for example with stones and stuff like that it will be protected if you scratch it the paint will be protected even though i think this is aluminium yeah definitely i think this is aluminium here so it doesn't rust uh, not sure but yeah definitely there it's aluminium i'm not sure about the doors but that's really cool what do you think about the exterior guys really nice it looks really cool i love the look of the car i definitely if i had the money that would be an option for me now let me show you what it's in the front and let me show you if the car have oh by the way i forget to tell you about the handles that are now integrated into the doors that help the aerodynamic also they feel good in terms of sounds they sound good also also in the back you hear here the classic BMW sound on the doors. Uh, you can see here, they add a lot of rubbers here and protection around the doors. They should have good insulation. Now, let me open this up and let me show you what it's in the front. Now, I was expect to have a little bit more rubber maybe on the down part, but, and also here probably, that would be nice, but I guess it's fine. I didn't drive on the highway at high speed. At speed up to 100 km per hour, we're okay, but I will do the test also at high speed. Look the way it opened the hood automatically, of course. And here it is. This is it, guys. So you have this plastic protection with BMW i and under this is the uh, electronic and the motor and all that stuff right there. So no space here in the front, no storage space because the car is built on a platform that use also combustion engine ah oh, i have to open it again combustion engines and that way you don't have too much space right there but usually if you want to close the bmw front you have to slash it a little bit harder open it up from here automotive lift gate go up very very nice and smooth and once you see the opening you will see that you have this huge hatchback coupe design i like that you can fit in here huge items without any problem and you can see it also from the back it has a beautiful big entrance also from upside down huge huge entrance and i like the way they uh, stick together the arm of the of the door up here in this area so you don't have this thing here I don't know how they call it, these uh, arms in this area. So you have it stick right here up. So that's much more useful because in this way you have much more space and it's much more practical to fit in things inside there. So yeah, it doesn't take up too much space in this area. So that's really, really important. Uh, the protection for the trunk was here 
I take it out for a second uh, because I want to show you a little bit better the way it looks properly. You have some plastic at the entrance, you don't have a flat floor, you have maybe five, six, seven centimeters, some storage space on the left side, LED light here on the right, hooks here in the corners, you have a 12 volt port, plus you have this button for the hook, this is optional, I think 1200 euro around there, and it comes completely out automatically you can pull a trailer up to 1200 kilogram with brake and some storage space here and that's it and otherwise quality wise really good almost everywhere it feels really good quality as bmw uses with you can open this up here and you still have some storage space down here for cables or other stuff not huge storage space but still still some space to put a few things so you don't have any spare tire down here otherwise some hooks and if you want to fold down the seats i love the fact that you can do it also you can fold down the middle part and also the side but the thing is you don't have any handle in the trunk you have to go around and open the doors and then do it yourself from here so this is something that i wish to be different but otherwise it's just fine nothing to complain and also here the good part is that you can basically adjust the seats how you want it you see it has many many adjustments so you can leave it like that if you want to carry longer items in the trunk or you can put it all the way on the back and the difference between them it's it's pretty much big and that's also something cool and you can do also with all those individual so you can fold it just like that and uh, i should do the, the the middle one first and then just press it and then it comes all the way down this one the same story it's kind of hard to do that with one hand but still struggling to show you how it looks this is it this is a trunk from my point of view for a car like that for the size of the car is just perfect the, the place the space uh, the practicality is super good nothing to complain about you can see for yourself but from my point of view it's really good it's almost a flat floor you can even sleep here without any problem uh, it's really really long space and big the good part again something that i love is the fact that they install the windows on the door so no window on the body of the car that allow them to have a bigger entrance here and also better visibility for the passengers in the back i will show you when we go there and you can see how big is the entrance pretty big even though you have this coupe design and look, they still manage to have a practical interior on the back. And then we will go here to see a little bit better. Also from this angle, the way it looks. Behind the seats, pretty good quality here, here. So nothing to complain about. Down here on the legs room, you have a very, very small transmission tunnel right there. So you can add different items without any problem if you really need to do that. So yeah, from my point of view, pretty practical. Let me put everything back and then we will go inside. We have two windows, one fixed and one that can be fold down from here, from this button. And if you wonder how much you can fold it down, you can fold it down completely, basically. Yeah, maybe just a little bit, it stays up there, but it's great that you can fold it almost completely. Not double glass on the rear, but I think it doesn't need it anymore because anyway, because it's a small window, so it's just fine. On the upper side, you have leather here, white stitches, down here leather leather here leather and then you have some chrome design around here this is the button this is the handle also in bmw style you have harman cardon speakers the same nice plate in aluminium speaker down here storage space pretty big and that's the entrance in the car huge entrance as i tell you before you can see also the glass panoramic glass roof from this angle that you can basically close the curtain there if you don't want the sun come inside that's a good thing in comparison with other cars that doesn't have that and this is the way it looks in the back i will go in a second to see how much space we have those are the seats lovely 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 seats and if i'm not wrong those seats are leatherette that means it's a artificial leather so it's not a proper proper leather from what i know correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section but the quality wise it feels really really good uh, isofix for child you can install two child seats and also here in the middle you have an armrest with two cup holders so 
everywhere you touch basically excepting this area here it's really good material and the quality of the seats are really good as bmw uses with anyway behind here you have some plastic some storage space where you can add different items and in the middle you have storage space where you can put different things a little bit higher you have the vents and they feel good quality two usb-c ports and if i go inside i also adjust the seats before i start the video in my driving position so now we can make an idea of on my space 173 centimeters and this is the space behind myself it's pretty okay i should say pretty good space i can stretch my legs under the front seat with an led there but the thing is that the knee will stay a little bit higher maybe two three centimeters uh, a little bit higher like in an electric car of course it is an electric car on the head I have like three and a half fingers over my head but comfort wise I think it's just fine I mean it's pretty good pretty good and the visibility is perfect nothing to complain because the, the window is extended good visibility good soft material around here I like it of course, for tall people, maybe uh, it's a little bit tighter here. Maybe if you are 190 or something like that, maybe for the head will be a little bit of problem and also maybe for the legs. But for me, I think up to 180 uh, centimeters will be just fine. A little bit higher, you have a handle, LED light. Then you have also a hook and the quality of the roof, it's very good. From 1 to 10, I should say around 8. Now let's go in the middle because you don't have that transmission tunnel it's pretty easy to stay here also you have this kind of space and this kind of space and you can see the seats how they are adjusted there so yeah basically normal position for me and here what i notice is that i have only one finger over my head so overall i should say if you are over 100 75 centimeters in the middle you will basically come up and if you are 180 90 probably will be hard to stay in the middle maybe impossible but the good part is that if you are like me you basically can stay here because down here it's super soft and nice and on the back is not that bad so you can basically stay here for short to medium trips without any problem stretch my hand mm, not completely and here stretch my hand almost yeah, the same almost completely. Surprisingly, it's a lot of space for free person on the side of the car. So it's basically quite bright. So I like that. Impressive. Even though you have this coupage design, it's, it's quite impressive. You have also this big glass that looks quite nice. And we will go in the front. The dashboard and the front look very similar with other versions that are already on the market, the newest versions. I like very much that it's a clean design that allow them to have a better view on the windshield. Great steering wheel. I love this steering wheel from uh, BMW. We will go there and we will talk about that. We will talk about the multimedia system. And I love also this Iceland. This is kind of my favorite part right here in the middle. But overall, much better design than what BMW used to do years ago. They step up the game with the date and everything seems to be almost perfect there. So let me go in the front. One big window from one piece. Visibility is good. I will show you in a second. Up here, leather. You can see the stitches, great quality. Also here, leather, leather here, soft material. Only down here, you have some plastic. The door bends, pretty big and spacious. You can add there a lot of stuff. You can open the trunk from this button. You have a speaker here, another speaker, Harman Kardon, sound system, great sound system. And here you can save the position of the seat once you set it electrically, lock and unlock button. The handles, classic, nice design on the handles. Some chrome design with the handle here super nice and then you have the buttons electric adjustable mirrors you can fold in the mirrors as i told you in the beginning and then this is the buttons for the windows and lock the windows this is the entrance in the front also as in the back as in the rear pretty good and this is the way the seats look like and the front end to be honest i tell you i love every single piece of this car i don't know if it's something that i would change for me personally down here you can adjust the seats electrically in every position you want basically super simple uh, you have aluminium pedals love it on this version a little bit higher you have the buttons to set up the light here 
glossy plastic a little bit higher LED light insertion here in the nighttime you can see it very nice I will try to make a video with it and those vents they feel fabulous one of the most smooth and nice feeling vents soft material everywhere on the dashboard everywhere and look at those seats lovely lovely seats man the side support it's incredible and the design and the, the the size of them they are perfect to hold you really really good uh super nice you can adjust this front part basically manually just like that you can see they are perforated and you have also the shoulder support up here not only side but also up here on the shoulder so that's nice plenty of storage space under this Iceland I call it uh, you can see how much space you have down there you have two USB-C ports you have cup holders a 12 volt port and you have a place where you can put your phone uh, to charge wireless right there and yeah let me basically go inside the car now here you can see that armrest it's in leather super nice armrest it's almost perfectly because you know you have your arm here and you have all the controllers that's important right here so shift by wire transmission you can change from here the direction you have drive mode and you have b mode b mode will act like one pedal drive it's incredible good check out the test drive and then i give you more information you have the parking button there in the video i already drive it here is the button for 360 degrees cameras my mode different driving mode you change it from here and here it gets you to the settings of the car it comes with auto hold of course and this is the hazard light and the wheel for the volume and from here you can change basically the radio station so yeah pretty cool and easy accessible a little bit higher here we have a vent also quite smooth quite nice to change it shortcut buttons for the defrosting and here we have the glow box pretty big I would say it's relatively big the glow box and then up here piano black ambient light inserted around here on the dashboard and then you have those two air vents uh, super nice again so lovely the way they design it soft material here and up there you have a speaker some vents and then you have the head-up display but in order to see it let me start the the car and right now I put the contact and I start the car and you can see the head-up display directly on the windshield. The same head-up display that BMW use it also on other uh, version, other models. And you can basically change the view. You can put even the map on the screen. So if you want to see the map, you can see the basically the navigation right there in front. And I try to, yeah, let me go into the navigation and set the destination to show you how cool it looks. I start right now. The great part is now on the car you have all the charging stations on the map. Check this out. All the charging stations are on the map. So you can find them by going around the map and you can see a lot of information about them. Uh, and that's great. You can see how many, if it's open, if it's closed, the telephone number and all kind of information. What's the charging speed and you can go to DC and how cool is that? I mean, you can see how many they are and what kind of chargers they are and that's that's insanely helpful and you can see them in color so you know next time which kind of speed they have it's really really useful and yeah i love the navigation it's probably one of the best and you can see right now on the head-up display you can see the map there a lot of info will appear also on the head-up display while you're driving check out the test drive because there you can see more information now when it comes to steering wheel you can adjust it manually front back down up super simple good quality the same fat steering wheel as bmw uses with on the m lovely the quality it's lovely then behind here you have the boost pedal so you pull it one time and you have 10 seconds of maximum speed so if you drive in echo mode and you need power to pass other cars you just pull it once 10 seconds pull the car and that's it super super useful here i love the fact that they still keep it simple simplicity is the way to go they keep it simple with physical button for the cruise control and autopilot you can set it very simple from here while you're driving is just perfect they should leave it like that forever here it's also controllers for the cockpit you can customize the cockpit the volume uh, the telephone the voice command and also the media and also the volume from here 
and basically let me show you the digital cockpit it's quite nice it's not huge but relatively perfect and you can see it very well through the steering wheel pretty big i mean i should say it's big enough to see there for every person i think it's big enough if you are in personal mode you can customize the view of the of the screen so you can see it like that you can have it like this or smaller like in sport mode and uh, let me go on the left and here you can see the content in the middle so you have the media you have also the map the full map you can see it in the front you can have directions only you can have this assistant view where it shows you the cars and what happened with the cars and around the cars the, like tesla I'll show you as well here is the range and information about the car the consumption here and this is kind of nothing the thing is that the car doesn't come with augmented view so you don't have the camera in the middle like you have on the new bmw i5 for example that's a shame a little bit but it's okay it doesn't matter too much i like it very much now when you change the driving modes for example from here and you go in sport mode you will see that even the design is changing or when you go in efficient mode it's changing in blue so that's quite nice like in other bmw as well if you go here on this button it will get you directly to the most important settings of the car for example the driver assistance system where we have all the safety features and the most important uh, safety features like front collision warning departure warning lane changing warning side collision warning road priority warning exit warning this is great not only that it's reading the uh, traffic speed limit but also priority stops and traffic signs this is great attentive assist speed warning limit uh, speed limit exit and all that stuff a lot of safety features parking features also here you can adjust them very very simple a lot of features i will try to go in a different video soon in more details to explain you every single feature of the car but now uh, i have a limited time because i have to get the car back now speed limit assist and all that other functions you find it here uh, feedback via steering wheel let me go back charging here and the driver and chassis you have that iconic sound while you're driving you can take it out if you don't like it you can turn it off and here emergency recovery in d mode and here you have a few options like low moderate so in d mode you can choose how you like to have it even though you have the b mode that act like a one pedal drive you can still change the recuperation in d mode so that's super useful if i go down here to the climatic system here you have all the functions from here you turn it on and off and here you have all the functions the vents you can put it on auto you can change different settings super simple and then here is the home screen it looks like that and you have this uh, new design on the left where you can go in different settings it comes with a bmw personal assist radio again the car information and settings and errors if the car have an error will appear around here adaptive content here it's quite nice you can also see the car and how it looks and you have the journey data with all that consumption on the last trips so pretty nice if you go here are all the settings in the applications of the car so here you find all the apps of the car that the car come with so for example let's start be uh, personal assist you have android auto apple carplay you can connect it without any problem i will do a separate video with that so stay close bmw map you have the charging and settings of the charging you can schedule the charging you can choose how much to charge the car on the next charging the amps the departure and if you go even deeper you have preconditioned battery settings fan loudness something that you don't find in many other electric cars so that's also super interesting so you can basically change them from there and you have also this plug and charge if bmw have collaboration with some charging uh, place you just go there take the cable put it in the car and the car will charge like in tesla so this is super useful for the future and all other stuff they are they are really really great so super welcome a lot of important settings here that the car come with you have the display settings door settings and windows drive record you can record the driving and then you have the driver settings that you saw before and let me go back you have the exterior light settings from here you can change them super simple you can put it on auto if you want or you can turn them on uh, here you have the parking lights and here you have the settings so from here you can again change different settings the key settings so you can put your phone to act like a key 
So to unlock the car, and then if you go down here, you have the memory, mobile devices, uh, what is more important here. Parking, you saw it, you don't see it before. Let me show you. You have the 360 degrees cameras, great, great resolution. It's one of the best camera out there on the market these days. It looks perfectly exactly with what happened around the car. And I definitely love it. So great job, BMW. I love what they do with those uh, stuff. You have the seats and settings of the seats here. You can adjust it. And then you have system settings. From here, from the system settings, you find language, units, and all that other settings, wireless, telephone, vehicle status, you saw it, you have Wi-Fi, weather, and I will go in a separate video separately in all these features uh, and try to show you all. I hope I didn't miss something, guys, but in general, that should be all. A little bit higher is the mirror. You can see the visibility for yourself in the mirror. I would say I drive the car and I would say it's more than enough. It's not perfect because the coupe look, but it's more than enough to see in the back. There are LED lights up here. Plus you have this button here from where you can close this curtain and just basically open it just like that. Super simple and fast. A little bit higher here you have a mirror, good quality and also an LED light that's fancy. Here is microphone and a handle. So in general, that was the video guys. I hope I cover everything. Of course, I will have the car in the future for more time and I will make another proper review and also test drive on the highway consumption plus I will do another review of this multimedia system and also how to connect your phone. So stay close to see those two. Also, if you still have questions, ask me down below. I will try to answer all your questions. If you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, check out Autofake here in Bern. If you are in Switzerland around Bern, you can contact them. They are super, super nice. And you saw before, they already have 11,000 discount. So almost every time when I do reviews here, they have discount. So that's great. It's good for you, good for the people that want to buy the car. Uh, of course, the car come with heated seats. That's something that I forget to show you and also um, heated steering wheel. That was the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. That will help me a lot for the future to be able to film and present you more cars. So thank you very much to all of you that are here. Stay safe and I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.